Hey there, bug watchers. Welcome back to BuggyBot Plays XCOM 2. So, I haven't quite gotten into the rhythm of this one yet. These uh, first few missions have been very pushy, I guess I should say. They, they've kind of determined the pace themselves. Um, I'm hoping to settle a little bit more into a, a better... A, a better flow as time goes on. The spokesman took a big risk getting inside Advent. Enough for me to believe he's loyal to our cause. There may still be a few skeptics in the movement, but we've got bigger things to worry about than a man on a screen. All right. So we've had some interesting bits so far. Right now, uh, we're just doing some resistance communications. We're basically just scanning, because I don't really know what else to do yet. Um, you guys also might notice that there's going to be some, some changes in the video quality a little bit. Uh, I'm basically trying to figure out what's best for... Oh, I can build here. I really need a guerrilla tactics oh, school, don't I? Tactic. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Daniel Moore is increasing construction speed by 50%. Way to go, Moore. Way to, way to contribute, pal. Seven days. Very nice. But uh, I'm still playing with things, trying to figure out what, what's good for my recording, what my machine can handle. So if you'll bear with me on that, I, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, Although we have allies oh. scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations, the aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. Uh-oh. Oh, don't tell me this is our first retaliation mission. I'm not ready for that. No, okay, it's not. We're, we're, it looks like we're extracting a VIP from an Advent City, Dr. Paolo Bianchi. 96 intel and a scientist. I'm all for that, guys. For the Arctic territories. Yeah, go, go to the Arctic territories. You know, penguins and such. I'm not actually sure which, uh, which, which hemisphere has penguins. All right, we've still got a few people in here. Um, Sandra Robinson. That is not someone I actually know. Let's take... Let's take Andy Blank out again. Um... Vanguard wouldn't hurt either. We could really use a, a sniper that's, that's getting along. Mad Dog, why not? And... Maybe we'll take us. Do I take? You know, maybe we should keep Kelly in here. She's been she's been serving as well. Give us that that rounded feel. Um, what can you take for grenades? Not a whole lot. Yeah, I don't really want to give you the resistance armor. Let's see. Got the cannon. Can't change it out. Haven't got any interesting weapons. Yeah. Yeah, well, it looks like we're still kind of limited on our on our equipment options, but we'll we'll kind of figure it out as we go. Um, you know what? I know what we can do with Mad Dog here. I think we can add a weapon enhancement to his assault rifle. Oh, he's already got it. Okay, yeah, he's got his scope. So I did one other thing while I was out here, guys. Um, between this mission and uh, the last one, I went ahead and visited the community and picked up the three long war mods that were already out there. These give us... Yeah, begin mission. These give us the uh, three major things. First off, they have added SMGs, and those of you familiar with the, uh, the long war mod know that the SMG... Is asking for our help in oh god, so much talking. Data in this area. We've got the coordinates, but it's likely we'll have to clear out a contingent of hostile forces to make this work. Yeah, we, we can do that. We can definitely do that. So, first off, I've added in SMGs. SMGs, pretty awesome. Uh, slightly less damage for better... Uh, for better mobility. They've also got one, the leadership, which allows us to train basically officers like we used to have in Long War, but we can only take one officer per mission. So we kind of have to be careful who we train. 
and you know not overlap those, those people. Um, finally, I picked up the bonus for Mutant Centurions. Um, they're kind of like a mini boss that shows up now and then. I haven't seen one yet, obviously. You guys have seen as much as I have here. But, uh, apparently they really boost squad mates, alien squad mates, and can just be a real pain in the ass. Whoa, hello. Got a little bit crazy with the loading there. Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac command for range. Extraction. What is command range? Get me out of here, and I'll help you in any way I can. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Okay, we have 12 turns to cross this map with this poor bastard and somehow make it out in one piece. Okay, I think we should take... I think we should definitely take the, the upper... Uh, we should definitely take the high ground, first of all. If we're gonna do this, let's do it smart, right? Out. Likely, if we come over here and actually get view onto the street, we'll probably pop a pod. I, I feel like that's, that's pretty likely to happen pretty quick, so... Out. We're gonna move our guys up Roger here, that. try to keep them safe, and then next turn we'll move up to the, uh, we'll move on up to that spot right up there. We'll take a peek, we'll maybe take a shot if we're lucky, you know, see how it goes. Alright, hunker down. Now, did hunker down change, by the way? Increase defense by 30 and dodge by 50. Only works in cover. Okay, so no, it didn't. Um, come on. There we go. Kelly, you know what? We're going to put Kelly here. I just feel, would feel better if she's in some kind of cover. Now, I heard footsteps, but I'm not sure if they were... Headed there now. Civilian footsteps or... Advent. Oh, what's this now? Guys, look! We can get a brand new car! We're the lucky winners! Oh, uh, boy. I'm really not liking the distance we have to cover here in such a short time. Oh, my God! That was the sound of your legs shattering, Mad Dog. Dear God, man, are you okay? That's That can't be healthy at all. Seriously, don't do that. That's That's... Terrible. Now, do we have concealment? I thought that it said that this one we didn't have concealment this particular mission. But uh, we seem to. And I'm not really sure what's going on there. Affirmative. Moving out. Oh, wait, no, that was... That was... Uh, that was our ranger, that's why. She is concealed still. She has that nice little bonus of still being concealed, even when, everyone, even when the rest of this group is revealed. Oh, I got greedy, guys. I shouldn't have got greedy. I wanted to make a little extra time up, and it was a poor choice, to say the least. Alright, Kelly, you need to get inside. Or at least behind high cover. I'm on the move. Uh, Paolo, Paolo Bianchi, you, you just hunker. You stay well out of the way. And we're going to abuse our high ground in hopes of wiping out one of these guys early. Oh, yeah. Hero, stepping up already. Oh, look, there's a Scarion. Oh, he's been wanted for so long. You keep hiding out, buddy. We got him on the run. Okay. One... One alien. Let's see. Um... First, I think we're going to see about taking a shot here. Sniper rifle, 75% chance to hit, 4 to 6 damage. I like our odds here. I'm liking what this looks like. Ooh, and 5. Very good. That puts us in grenade range. So let's see here. Who's to move up and try to take this shot? 
Um, do we still have another advent? I can't. I don't remember if this one popped two or three people. Roger that. Yeah, I'm only seeing two. All right. Blank, get down there, see if you can deal a little more damage. No? Still nothing? Okay. Well, you've got a 54% chance to hit. I think we should move you up. Yeah, get aggressive. We, we, should, we should stay aggressive here. We need to keep moving. And I feel like I'm getting slowly worked down a little bit. Uh, civilian, you might want to, like, not be here anymore. That thing just exploded into a billion shards, and you're just kind of standing around like, Oh, no, this is fine. There it is. Good riddance. What do we got here? They've seen me. <laughs> They've seen me. No, they don't see much of anything at the moment. And they dropped an item. Oh, maybe we can get another Illyrium core. That would be awesome. All right, hunker down. And Hero, you Overwatch. can just go on Overwatch in case there is another guy over there. I don't think there is. No, we seem to be okay. All right, we're going to move Mad now. Dog up. Admin forces sighted. Oh, and another set. Looks like another Sectoid and another basic trooper. We can handle that. We can, we can probably take that on. Uh, if it will decide to let me do so. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, how do we handle this? Are we in a car lot? Are, we are. I think we're at a dealership, guys. <laughs> um... Hmm. Where can I put her where she'll be relatively safe? Let's put her here. Good copy. Moving on target. Kelly, move up. And you've only got... Yeah, 58. I think that's a decent shot to take. Oh, and Kelly nails it. Pulling it together after those ugly missions earlier. Okay. Hero. Uh... Let's get you moved up. Yeah, you can see him, but you haven't really got a decent shot yet. So here's what I'm thinking. I don't think we can really... I don't think we can really get a decent a decent hit out of this. We'll take a pot shot. I don't expect it to land. It didn't. And what we'll do instead is aid protocol ourselves and then try to go for a flank in the uh, in the next round you you can aid protocol yourself can't you yeah there you go everyone else is in high cover so i think we'll be fine oh he's running man he fucking booked it too Venice one five be advised hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction Oh, an Illyrium core and an alien data cache. Cool. Grab them both, okay. man. Okay, we've still got a freaking long-ass way to cover, if you ask me. Um, can we get up here? Yes, we can. There's a there's a walk up there. Okay, yeah, let's let's do this. Uh, we will move Mad Dog up. Good copy. Moving on target. Excellent. And we'll move... Move Moving Kelly position. here. What I want to do is get up on here and then just run over the top of the building for the high ground and probably a decent chance of getting out of here without being time. too overly exposed. Good copy. Moving on target. Oh, you have a hacking chance. Why don't we check out and see what's actually available? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to look, right? You go, little gremlin buddy. Uh, 
Okay, squad recovers action points. I've got a 50% chance on that. But I get reinforcements called down. Pretty handily. Um, you know, I'm not willing to roll the dice on that. So we're going to cancel the hack. I'm interested in that mechanic. That is that is a new and interesting mechanic. I wish I didn't have to wait for this guy to go everywhere every single time. Uh, now you. You're going to run to there. And who's left? Vanguard. I'm on it. Vanguard, you're going to need to run too, because it's really time for you to just catch up. Let's see. Moving to designated position. Oh boy. All right, this is risky. Up we go. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Awesome. No terrible suffering or screams of the dying, so that's a good sign. Copy that. Affirmative. And we will run... We're going to put you here and have you I reload. Because I get the feeling we're about to have a pretty nasty altercation pretty soon. Oh yeah! You're gonna go here and hunker, and then next round you'll you'll make the the full dash. See, I, I'm really not sure how to feel about this yet because I uh, I'm not used to just how much the time limit's going to affect me. I'm a very cautious player. I like to take my time, so this is this is unnerving for me. I think we stay up top and just run along this. Yeah, see, no squad pops. Or no, no, no pops. On my way. Oops, no. Okay, oh, and there's, okay, yeah, control is the waypoint system. All right. Um, you. You. Run to here. You're going to cover him, just in case that Sectoid decides to make a, a new appearance. That's affirmative. Uh, we'll put you here. All right, we're relying on you, Kelly. Quiet. Did you hear something? Oh, there they are. Complete miss. Oh, and it's a captain. Oh, that's bad. He went and he got help, guys. And I don't like the amount of help he went and got. Okay, hero. What's uh, what's your play, buddy? Um. Well. I think Hero is going to head up That's here. And we're going to have him launch a grenade right over the edge here. And maybe, just maybe, yeah. knock these guys down. Which will kind of slow them down a, a pretty decent amount, hopefully. Come on, knock him down. Blew the floor, yeah! Damn, that worked out well! It is not liking the uh, the fallout, though. <laughs> All right, you. You're going to come in here to clean up whatever's left. That... That is a very slow-moving... Commander who has some apparently shattered kneecaps. But you've also got a flank on him? I mean, can I pass it up? He's like, no, no, guys, kill that fucker. That dude's aiming at me. 
You know what? I, I have often felt the same way. All right, so we're gonna go here. Moving to designated coordinates. Have this flank and probably kill. Come on, four damage. Not great, but not terrible. All right, all right, you. You've got a 73% chance to hit him and finish him. I'll take that. There it is. Now, the reason I wanted that is because our specialist up there has a 100% chance to shoot this motherfucker in the face. Yeah, specialist. Way to go, mad dog. Oh man, these guys have been so effective. I love it. And that's going to explode. So let's not stand next to that, right? That's, uh, that's what we've learned. Look at that hobbly run he did. Okay, that covers a little more area than I remember. Um, Heading to that location. Came much closer to murdering that civilian than I actually meant to. Okay, how can I get you upstairs? Where do you go? Where can you go? Uh, so you've got four moves. One, two, three. Yeah, you'll be you'll be fine if I put you here. And we better get the rest of our squad to where they can actually reach the evac zone. So, up you go, guys. Let's see, is there another, is there another, yeah, there's another way up here. Okay, so we'll, we'll, head, we'll have you run to here. Or maybe I should keep you on the inside. Yeah, you go there. Stepping off. Where is, ah, and our sniper. Okay. Put our sniper here, we should be okay. Cool. Uh, you can reload. Menace one five, hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Yeah, so I hear. All right. All righty. We're gonna put. We're gonna put our scientist here. Next turn, he'll jump down there and get and. Uh, Get ready to get the hell out of here. Moving on target location. Yeah, this looks good, guys. Looks good. Moving the designated coordinates. On my way. Move Clark up. Get him. Get him ready to, to run up the little pipe there. Kelly, you join Clark. And I think we're good. Yeah, I mean, next round, we're just gonna get everybody right the hell out of here. I'm on it. Awesome. Is that not everybody? Who's left? Oh, I have to actually end the turn because it's, uh, these guys are standing in the evac zone. They can, they can still run. Okay, everybody out. Heading out. Everybody grab your exit buddy. Do you have your evac buddy? Nope, nope, not a not a protocol. Evac. And evac. Ready to boogie. I'm yeah. out of here. That'll do it, guys. We're out of here. Sweet. That was very smooth. That went great. Felt good, too. Mission accomplished. Flawless victory. Freaking sweet. Feels good, guys. Feels real good. Dealt most damage. 
Jane Kelly. Corporal Kelly also got made most attacks. Most under fire. We did not take a single shot that round. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Making contact and building radio relays. Oh, so they kept the continent bonuses for relay for uh, coverage. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, relays are kind of the new satellite coverage, which is, I guess, I guess it makes sense. You know, you're just building your network to fight against the alien scum. I don't know why it keeps doing this. I think it's I think it's trying to load the. Uh, What's it called? The Avenger, and it just gets this little cutscene mixed in with it. Thank you. One by one, we're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. Oh yeah, three promotions. Look at these guys. Mad Dog. Let's do Mad Dog first. Mad Dog seems like seems like seems like a uh, a combat hacker kind of guy. Um, jolt them. Yeah, let's say combat protocol on him. Blank, 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 blank. What are you do? What are you, what are you gonna do? Um, you know the original blank face, the original hero, was very much an assault type. So I think we're gonna take him along the route of the heavy gunner. And then Kelly. Kelly is wow, very quickly taking taking her her uh, making her way up the rankings. She's already a sergeant. So we can have Shadow Strike. Well, concealed gain plus twenty five aim and plus twenty five bonus critical chance when attacking enemies. Shadow Step. Well, concealed gain. Oh no, I'm sorry. Shadow Step. Soldier does not trigger Overwatch or reaction fire. Um, I think we take Shadow Strike here. I really like the idea of getting her for those very deadly shotgun, shotgun criticals. I am all for that. So we got another Illyrium Core. We recovered Paolo Bianchi. Way to go, buddy. Sweet haircut. Really rocking the flat top. Alien Data Cache. This, these mysterious, mysterious storage devices, carried only by aliens, contain a wealth of intel about a large variety of enemy plans. They're extremely high value, and their security measures will be commensurately more time-consuming to crack. I guess that means the more we, the more we research them, the longer they take. Having recently discovered an alien data cache storing valuable enemy intelligence, I can dedicate my team's resources to decrypting files and ensuring that we recover a large amount of intel stored within. Whoa, what is going on with your chin there, buddy? You have... Wow. You may want to get the acne cream out. That is looking bad, Tygen. What is going on, pal? You have done an outstanding job leading the Resistance, Commander. Oh, I thank you. He just popped in to say nice things to me. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. Now that does make me question, like, is there something specific that I can... Hello, Commander. Work is well underway, but it will be some time yet before my research is complete. Okay, so I can't actually assign him to anything, it doesn't look like. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. That would explain the scars, considering, you know, the horrible ripping motion that probably occurred. Um, the Gorilla Tactics School is still busy. Can I clear these without... Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start no. clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta find ourselves an engineer. We need, we're in pretty desperate need of that. Alright, 
Commander, after a recent success, members of the Resistance in New Arctic have brought us, brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Uh, yeah, you know what, we can investigate that. Sure, we could always use supplies right now. Oh wait, no, we actually should be going... Yeah, we, we should go and finish up this, this hunt for rookies. We really kind of need rookies right now. We, uh, we need guys. Especially since we're almost done with this one anyway. Oh, wow. Whoa, it gave like three of them. Four of them? Something like that. Remnants of an incomplete advent settlement were found throughout the area. Abandoned before finishing construction on the project, our scans located a small resistance cell nearby responsible for the sabotage. And when approached, they expressed interest in joining XCOM. Rookie Nora Nayer, Fatima Nassim, 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 Rory Lucy, John He, awesome. Um, I believe at least two of those are, wait, how do I, okay, yeah, there we go. I believe two of those are actually Avenger plotting new course. soldiers that, uh, have backstories from our previous campaign. Do, 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 do. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Okay, so we finished resistance communications. Although conceptually the idea of establishing a radio-based communication system for the purpose of organizing a resistance movement is nothing new, harkening back to any number of Earth's previous wars, what we hope to accomplish here is still no small task. The aliens are particularly adept at detecting our signals, with a vast array of technology and resources at their disposal. However, working in close collaboration with Chief Engineer Shen, we've begun to salvage some of the aliens' own communications equipment from within the Avenger itself. From studying the surviving log files, we've discovered an astounding number of simultaneous communications being distributed through their networks at any given time. This has proven to be the key to our proposed solution. With so much traffic flowing through the alien network, it should be relatively easy for us to disguise our own transmissions among theirs. Using the Avengers, our central hub, we can establish communications network linking resistance outposts around the globe. Every new contact should organize and strengthen the movement as a whole. So we can build resistance comms, we can research a resistance radio, and we have resistance contacts available. Cool. Since COM increased the number of regions that we can make contact with, further contacts can be gained by staffing an engineer here once construction is complete. Um, we could do the autopsy. We could also do... We could do the... Okay, no, that's nine days. I don't think we're ready for that yet. Although the sectoids... We need study and be able to develop psionic capabilities of our own troops. Oh my god, guys. Psionics. I mean, can we even pretend that that's not what we're going to go for? Though I was Fuck never yes. witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being the product of clear genetic manipulation is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. Ew, that's like getting everywhere, Tygen. You're a scientist, aren't you supposed to be clean? That was really gross. Apparently, I have also just finished downloading the XCOM 2 digital soundtrack. Way to go, me. Wait, way to do. I didn't even know I was downloading it, to be honest. So I need to make contact with East Asia, and I need to complete the autopsy research on the Advent Officer. Um, yeah, why don't we check this out, see if we can figure out if we can make contact with East Asia. Tigan just sent word. The new Resistance Communications Network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. Communication systems are online, Commander. We now make contact with local resistance in West Asia. Oh, okay, so it's basically it's like a, a web. As long as I connect one, I can connect another. Cool. Now 
that we've established a link, we can use our intel resources to make contact with the local resistance cell in this region. Aside from getting us into the black site, our access to supplies should improve now that we've expanded our reach. So that's our that's our every month kind of deal. Um, let's go ahead and finish our supplies here, and then we'll make a run over over to East Asia, and have that up and running by the end of the month. This research can only further our advances, Commander. Oh, guys, this is the shit I love. I love lore so much. Twenty years is a testament to both the alien's mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Basically, them motherfuckers is crazy. They are all about mixing and matching the DNA. The tumors on these things? Huge. In fact, that's what faceless are made of, guys. They are sectoid tumors. Preliminary autopsy exam conducted by Dr. Richard Teigen, acting science officer. Although my, di my direct surgical experience is limited, the alien's genetic manipulation of the species previously cataloged as a sectoid provides a certain familiarity in relation to human anatomy. While the earliest documentation, documented accounts of sectoids on Earth indicated examples no larger than one meter in height, the specimens we encounter today are nearly twice that size. Knowing full well that the aliens continue their efforts to integrate human and alien DNA, my findings here are only reinforce the notion of continuous development, of a continuous development process. This larger sectoid variant has an even greater proportion of human genetic material, selectively combined with the intention of improving the otherwise limited physical capabilities of the original. With the enhanced psionic capabilities and overall greater strength, I'd say they've succeeded. So now I can build Research psionics. Oh my god, yes. And I can build the mind shield. Cool. The mind shield is a powerful psionic artifact, rendering soldiers completely immune to any negative mental conditions, including panic, mind control, stuns, and disorientation. That's pretty goddamn sweet. Um, but I need five Illyrium crystals. I am nowhere near ready for that. And that's going to take 19 days. Still can't do that. I could do resistance materials. I think we're going to do advent the autopsy. The advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. So these guys have bigger brains. Um, that just means there's better headshots, folks. Do you think... Do you think Tygen watches Scrubs or watched it? Do you think he has his own version of JD? Because I saw that he said that he has limited surgical experience and all I could think, I was watching Scrubs today and I could just think, I would love there to be just in the background, JD back there whispering to himself about how Tygen smells. Maybe that's a little weird. You know, now that I think about it, yeah, you know what? The more I say it, the weirder it gets. <laughs> the more I think, the worse this is. I bet he smells, he smells like commitment. <laughs> Gorilla Tactics School, now oh, operating. Yes! It's real. Oh, look! They've got a water cooler. Nice. What's this? Upgrade? Leader training station. What? So cool. This is oh, this is what the mod is. This is this is the leader training. Add station where soldiers of sergeant rank or greater can train special leadership abilities. Important. Except in dire emergencies, only one leader may go on a mission at a time, so choose carefully whom you promote, as they cannot be just cannot be assigned to squads with one another. Oh, that's so cool, guys. Okay. Um, open. Soldier. Obviously. Rowan will have to, but they will be unavailable for combat. Yes, I do. I'm going to train... Sorry, there's only one thing that Rowan, the old soaring circus, can possibly be. She has to be our grenadier. After her, I think we'll train. Oh no, I can't. I, oh, I can only do one at a time. That sucks. Okay, well, for five days, we'll train England. 
After that, we'll train Lee. I think Lee will be our long-range specialist. That just sounds fun. Okay. Event Q. Cool. I'm liking this, guys. Oh, I have an unstaffed engineer. No, no, go back. We have to... We have to not suck, and we have to actually get that engineer Commander, doing something. I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Get on it more. Awesome. Okay, we're cool. Thank you, Shen. Strategic resource located. This crumbling sports arena was abandoned after years spent serving as a makeshift field hospital. The overgrown stadium is littered with crates and decaying equipment buried under the brush. Dr. Tigan was, was able to identify several items which retain their scientific value despite the conditions. Awesome. Let's go make contact. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Oh, I like that. Three to five days you have to wait there. It's basically saying, yeah, you kind of have to coax them out because they're not stupid enough to get themselves caught. Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. Attempting to Priority assault. message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Cool. Resistance rumor investigated. We've done no alien activity yet. Okay. Commander, we have oh. intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Oh, wow. This is some... These are these are the dark events. I've heard about these. I don't know what all of them are, but this seems bad. Hunt XCOM. UFO hunts the Avenger. That's probably not something we want to happen. To keep imprisoning and torturing people, eventually someone's going to talk. Very true. Alloy plating. Advent invests in pro improving their battle gear, adding armor to some of their soldiers. That sucks. That sucks. Advent scientists seem to have taken note of our own soldiers' advances and strive to not be outdone. Uh, right. Okay. Counter operations will be available soon. The resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Here's what I think we do. I think we make contact here, fly over there, grab those, make contact here, and kind of get it all done at once, right? Seems like a seems reasonable. Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. <laughs> Damn right you do. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification. Massive system. signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish. And our world heals. And yet, <laughs> like the eye roll, like, oh my god, dad, get out of my room. Who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple radar contacts on approach to Haven. Oh, Alpha shit. Seven. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. To end this scourge oh, shit. It is about to go wrong for her. Oh, guys, it's the terror mission. Wow! With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements. 
and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Oh, oh no. No, no, not okay. Totally not okay. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the Resistance Haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. I mean, do we have to... do, do we have to do it now? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. I mean, we, we can't... we can't wait, right? We can't risk it. We have to do it. What happens with these? I don't know what the, the, the consequences of terror attacks are. Oh, we can... okay, there's our squad increases. Um... All right, who are we going to take? I think I think we're going to have to take Uh I don't know that we're going to get a lot of hacks, so I think what we're going to do is take two grenadiers and a sharpshooter. So Iscarian's in. Heroic's in. And Mayu's in. And I know, guys, I've been using these guys a lot. I, I promise I will expand. Um, right now, I'm just kind of... Kind of working to... With what I've got. And I, I want to get some of you in here with very specific uh, level ups using the Guerrilla Training School. So, don't worry. I will start branching out. I, I will get more people in on this. Um, in the meantime, though, I think my new system is going to be to end my, end my uh, episodes, sorry, I completely blanked there, but end my episodes right here after we've picked out our squad, we've equipped them, and then the next one I will pick things up as we go and take off for the next mission. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like. You can subscribe for more content every Monday through Friday. And I hope I see you guys in the next mission of Operation Dawnbreaker. Damn, that's so awesome.